Joy of Sticks. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Joy of Sticks. Stickhead here with your Atari ST gaming channel. Today we're playing Paperboy. Have a look at that. That's quite a cool uh, loading screen really, isn't it? I like it. Yeah, well, uh, Paperboy was originally an arcade released by Atari, right? In 1985. And uh, it was quite striking, really, in the arcades, mainly because of the controller. The controller was like a, a BMX handlebars that you could steer. Um, very striking. And I, well, I think that was a bit of a hangover from the Star Wars arcade. I'd imagine they thought, hmm, how can we use this kind of controller in another game? And Paperboy was born. <laughs> now, it's what it got to be one of the most ported games in existence. Everybody got a copy. I mean, I played it on the Amstrad. Uh, I really enjoyed the Amstrad version, actually. Um, but then I know it's also... Um, it came out on the BBC, the Electron, the Apple II, the Amstrad, even the Coco, the TRS-80 got a version. Spectrum, Commodore 64, Commodore 16, Plus 4. Um, yeah, everyone got one. The Game Boy, they got a version as well. And uh, to be honest, a lot of the versions are actually really good. They They do the arcade some justice, so... Let's see what the SD version's like. Now, I have played this before. Uh, I believe it was part of the power pack that my uncle first got when he first got his ST. Um, so we played it quite a bit then, and uh, I was never particularly good at it. <laughs> I enjoyed it, but I seem to remember that the, the Amstrad had a little sneaky section you could go on. There was like a part of the path where you could stay, and it, it, you were mostly safe from nearly everything. I don't think the ST version's got that, which makes me really struggle. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm going to pick Easy Street because I'm a wuss. So basically, you know, you, you, you work through your paper boys working week. That's a great start. Great start. Work through your paper boys working week. So we're starting here on Monday uh, and you've got to deliver papers. So you roll through the street. Avoid. Oh, dear. <laughs> avoiding obstacles, he says. Clearly not avoiding obstacles. Uh, and then pressing the fire button to deliver papers. Now, if it's a colourful house, uh, that's a customer, basically. So you've got to deliver them a paper. Now, you do that by uh, pressing fire and chucking the paper. Uh, and hopefully it goes into their mail slot. Or um, mailbox, or whatever it's called. Um, oh, dearie dear. Or hitting their door, as I just did. Um... A bit stuck in the stuck in the road here now. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, or there'll be people that aren't ouch people that aren't your cus customers, and uh, oh, you can earn bonus. Oh, <laughs> what a terrible turn! <laughs> yeah, I, I can. I am terrible at this game, but I can actually do better than that. I promise. I promise. Uh, lousy score. Come on, we can do better than that. Uh, as I was saying, yeah, th there are grey houses, the ones with the red windows, and they're not customers, so you earn bonus points by... Oh, straight into the dog! Sorry, doggy. You can earn bonus points by breaking their windows, basically. Now, if you miss any, any customer houses... Uh, they are no longer your customers. They don't, don't want your paper delivered anymore. Um, so, yeah, the idea is deliver as many as you can to your customers so you don't lose them. Smash as many windows as you can. Not Obviously not customer windows. As you can. Um, oh, so terrible. <laughs> I really am bad at this game. Right, what I might do is uh, play around but not talk. So I can concentrate. Probably still isn't going to help, is it? We're actually going a bit faster. Seem to, I seem to do a little bit better then. When I was going faster. Oh, I'm not sure about the collision detection there. That seemed a bit ropey. Watch out for that thing. Oh, I smashed the window on the flipping heck. Yeah, this, this. I knew this game was difficult. I remember it being difficult. Don't remember it being this difficult. Alright, it's bonus time, here we go. So we're on the BMX track now. The idea is that you hit stuff at the side of the tracks with your papers for bonus points. Every time you jump you get more papers. 
Um, yeah, that's about it really. So the bonus points that you build in the round become your time during this section. Uh, and hopefully you've got enough to get to the end, like so. <laughs> I love you, Paperboy. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. So how many customers have I got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <sighs> Lost quite a few there. Seven customers. Here we go. Tuesday. One life left. Not good. All right. Maybe um, survival should be the order of the day now, rather than worrying about deliveries. Because I think as long as you've got one customer, that was close. As long as you've got one customer, uh, the game continues. Why didn't I pick up those papers? Yeah, do you know what I'm noticing? That collision detection leaves a lot to be desired. Let's get those papers. No, not close enough. No, you. Oh, you silly man. You silly man. Paperboy calls it quits. Accused of negligence, vandalism. Worst ever. Claim irate customers. <laughs> I love that. That is so good. Such a lovely touch. Alright, so that was an improvement over the last round. Shall I have another go? See if I can get a bit further this time. This is just easy street. Oh my word. Not doing well. Right, I'm going to try. <laughs> right, I'm just going to kill myself. That was pathetic. Right, deliberate deaths. Oh, you can go really far to the left. I didn't realise. That's him gone. Right, okay. This time. Did I get a bigger score than my first time? That's incredible. <laughs> I do so badly the first time. This is, I was going to say this is easy street. Oh my word, can you imagine what the others are like? Alright, I'm going to try a full pelt. I'll try a speed run. Okay, no slowing. I don't think this is going to work. Now I'm stuck on the road. Oh, I'm so bad at this game, it just feels rotten. Right, I'm killing myself again. There we go. Tyler, come here. Okay, so no, full pelt is not going to work. Oh, the top score was at the bottom. That's what I was reading before. I thought, did I beat my old score? Okay. This time, I'm taking it super, super easy. This, this might be my problem with the game, that I just wasn't patient enough to play it when I was a kid. The dog did a little fake. Did you see that? What a cheeky little dog. Why is he not going? See, he went earlier before. That's rotten. It's obviously knowing when to speed up. When to slow. That wasn't the time to speed up at all. Right. Slow. Oh, oh, he got me twice. The same mutt. Got me twice. Oh, my days. Okay. It's just, it's just everything is so unpredictable. Apart from him, he stands still. We like him. <coughs> oh, bless me. Oh, I'm doing really well. Amazing. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have one more go. One more go. As I say, everything seems a little bit unpredictable, and there's a bit of a problem with the um, collision detection quite tell if you're going to hit something or not. Oof, that was close. Shave that wall there. Right. Over here, the car can't get me. Yeah, as I say, on the Amstrad version, there was a little kind of... If, if you were in the right place, nothing would touch you. Or at least, you know, not as much. You could just avoid the odd thing. Maybe I've found that section. Have I found it? So I'm going to stay here. I'm just going to speed up and slow down. And that's it. I've got eight papers. I might... Oh, I didn't deliver to them. Oh, no. Okay. Still got smacked. Okay, maybe it's here. Let's try this. See if this is a sweet spot. seem a bit safer here. 
than when I was careering all over the place. I am finding it very difficult to deliver papers from here though. <laughs> oh, no way! Do you know what? I think I'm just going to give up. I'm just bad at this game and that's it. It just seems so clunky and immovable. <laughs> immovable. Now I'm inventing words. So you seem to get a good stack of bonus at the beginning of this, regardless of how much you got before. Because I didn't have a thousand bonus points, did I? Before. I wonder if you get gain extra for hitting stuff. <laughs> I've still got customers. How did that happen? One, two, three, four, five customers. All right, Tuesday, here we come. Speed past the dog. Slow down for the man. I just, I can't control him. I can't. <laughs> All right, guys, if you've got any tips for this game, please let me know, because I'm getting a bit frustrated. <laughs> I might come back to it another day. All right, let's see what the magazines think, shall we? Or shall I tell you what I think first? So basically, it's a good game. The concept of it is great. And it seems like it's really faithful to the arcade, which is nice. Nice music. The graphics supported well. The problem is, I think, that the the, play, the viewing area of the, you know, the play field is too small. So you can't see what's around you very well. Also, the fact that he doesn't have much of a manoeuvre about him. Much of a manoeuvre? He's just, you know, he's not very agile. It's really difficult to avoid obstacles and then because the collision detection isn't spot on it's not terrible but it's not spot on that kind of adds to the frustration of it as well um, yeah I think more responsive controls slightly tighter on the collision detection and a bigger screen to see what's coming and I'd, I'd really enjoy that game I would all right let's see what the uh, magazines say shall we okay uh, zero gave it 86 they liked it. They said the graphics are good, very much like the arcade, and unlike many coin-up conversions, this one actually plays like it as well. It's flipping hard, they say. Agreed, Zero. Agreed. So they liked it. Uh, Ace gave it a quite a similar score, really. They gave it 850. Um, and they say, this really does look and feel like the arcade original. I really can't fault the graphics and sound, and the game gameplay has all the charm and sheer addictiveness of the coin-up original. Highly recommended. So there you go, both Ace and Zero praising how uh, faithful it is to the coin-up original. Uh, but a slightly different story over at Games Machine. They gave it 66%. They say it remains playable. I like that. They're damning it with faint praise, isn't it? Remains playable. But why bring this out on 16-bit machines so long after the other conversions? And why so long after the original coin-up has vanished? That's a great point, because um, coin-up was 85, this version was 89. You know, four years is a long time in, in back those back back in those days of gaming. It was even longer. So that makes sense, yeah. But so there you go, guys. That was Paperboy. Please do wade into the comment section below with uh, your experiences of the game. Have you played the ST version? Were you better than me? If you are worse, maybe stay quiet. <laughs> uh, but have you played any of the other versions? What, what are the other versions like? As I say, I knew the Amstrad version, really enjoyed it. I think I played the Game Boy. I don't remember what that was like, really. But yeah, let, let me know. What do you think of Paperboy, guys? And uh, thank you very much for watching. Do take care.